Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this lecture, we will discuss the first poultry preservation technique, that is refrigeration. Refrigeration can ha uh, can have an important effect on the poultry even before the bird is hatched. After the slaughter of the bird, the main purpose of refrigeration is to reduce and then maintain the temperature of the meat below a value that will ensure a high quality and safe product. There are clear differences between the environmental condition required for the cooling process that is primarily primary or secondary chilling and freezing which are heat removal or temperature reduction processes and those required for the subsequent stages of the cold chain that is chill storage, frozen storage, transport, retail display and home storage where the aim is to maintain a set product temperature. Many storage problems are due to the failure to remove all the required heat in the uh, cooling process. This failure can be due to a number of causes. If we provide insufficient time, insufficient refrigeration capacity, overloading the refrigeration unit, variation in size of the product and incorrect environmental conditions. Effect of refrigeration on the flavor. Refrigeration process can influence the cooked flavor of the poultry and poultry products. However, the main effects are from storage rather than chilling or freezing. Commercially processed dry chilled broilers had a subtle but detectable flavor advantage over the conventional and emergent chilled, boil, chilled boilers. Cryogenic chilling systems may have an effect on flavor. Free chilling method that utilize a spatula one hour spin one hour spin plus three hours in a slush ice one hour spin plus 23 hours in slush ice prior to freezing they also utilize three thawing methods four days in refrigerator 10 hours in cold running water and cooking from frozen meat. None of the chilling and thawing methods had any effect on either flavor or juiciness of the cooked breast and thigh meat. Freezing itself appears to have no effect on the aroma and flavor of the poultry meat. Birds that were aged and often tended to be less juicy than those that were aged and kept unfrozen. Freezing can cause some changes in nutritional composition in comparison with a fresh chicken, frozen skin has higher mineral and vitamin A content but lower vitamin E content. Medium chain fatty acids were higher and long chain unsaturated fatty acids are usually lower in frozen than in fresh chicken tissues. Cholesterol is usually higher in fresh in comparison to frozen fat. Carbon dioxide freezing of mechanically deboned poultry meat reduces its frozen storage life in comparison with the air blast freezing because air blast freezing increases the lipid oxidation. When combined with aerobic stages, this method achieves a life of about 2 months at 18 degrees centigrade and a vacuum packaging extend it to 4 months. Storage life of up to 5 months can be achieved with a blast freezing method. Effect of refrigeration on appearance of poultry carcass. The appearance of poultry has a substantial effect on its sale appeal and different refrigeration process can influence this aspect of the product quality. Evaporative chilling at an air speed of about 3 meters per second and a temperature of about 0 degrees centigrade with spraying of 60 seconds at 20 minutes interval during the first half of the chilling period produce the best appearance. Chilling in air at a velocity of 3 to 0.2 meters per second 
at 0 degree centigrade without spray produce a slightly inferior appearance of bird. Discoloration of raw or cooked tissue can occur from cell disruption and blood migration caused by slow or variable chilling rates. Pale soft and exudative meat is a growing problem in poultry industry and is characterized by the rapid post-mortem pH decline which we have already discussed in our previous lecture. The low pH condition while the body temperature remain high leads to protein uh, denaturation causing a pale color and reduced water holding capacity. The rapid chilling will elevate this problem. The occurrence of dark and apparently uncooked layer around the bone in cooked poultry is a problem most commonly that occur in catering industry. It was shown that freezing and thawing released the hemoglobin in the bone marrow and made it possible for the pigment to penetrate the bone. Leg and thigh and carotid bones are the most seriously affected portions. The occurrence and amount of blackening could not be related to the extent of bleeding. Chilling method, freezing rate, temperature and length of storage or temperature fluctuation during, uh, during storage. Age of bird has a significant effect. As 16 to 17 week old birds show less discoloration than young birds. A combination of storage at 30 degrees centigrade, rapid thawing and immediate cooking or cooking with the carcass before freezing reduce the discoloration. Effect of effect on the texture. Poultry meat does not require the same amount of age as red meat to develop its optimum texture. The desire for more rapid processing is producing textural problems. The cooking losses are greater from the chicken breast fillet excised immediately after chilling and decreased after post chill aging of the two hours or more. Chicken breast fillets marinated hot become tougher and drier. Then similarly treated breast fillets that had either been chilled in a slush ice for a period of about 2 hours or aged at 4 degrees centigrade for 24 hours. Freezing also markedly increased the tenderness in the carcass aged from less than 6 hours where carcass had been aged for 24 hours. There, was a lit there is a literal difference between frozen and unfrozen birds. Post-mortem electrical stimulation is not a new technology but has only recently became commercial possibility for the use in broiler processing. In broilers, electrical stimulation seeks to reduce the toughness of the meat that is deboned prior to the normal aging period. This is different from its previous use in the red meat. Although many different electrostimulation techniques 